Now, Mary, how much were you paid to be out here? Nothing. How can I? They, that's not what the president said. He said that you were paid to be here. Well, he's wrong. And this is my representative. I live in 77024. So you actually know what you're doing? I actually know what I'm doing. And I have tried to meet with him several different times to talk particularly about immigration issues. And he doesn't want to talk about it. And he has one of the worst records in the Capitol on immigration issues. Now, what other issues of his concerns you? What, bring, what else brings you out here? Well, immigration is a big thing, but everything in general, he is always so ultra-conservative. All of his opinions and the positions he takes are very exclusive. He doesn't want an inclusive society. He is privileged. He wants to keep his privilege, and he wants his group of friends to be privileged too, and that's all. He doesn't want to do anything for the people, the, the less privileged groups. Now, I just spoke to the, the counter-protesters, which are which a much smaller group, uh, who have a tendency to believe that the people on this side somehow are looking for something. They want something for nothing. What do you? What message do you have to tell them about that sort of belief? I have this message to them. Look at the facts. They say the same thing about immigrants, that we need to get rid of immigrants because our system is paying them more, because they're a burden, an economic burden on our country. And the facts are not anything like that at all. A very prominent Republican economist, Ray Perryman, has done a very thorough report saying, in fact, that in Texas, undocumented immigrants contribute more than six billion dollars a year to our economy and that our economy could not function without them. Thank you very much. Thank you.